Good evening, folks. This is Veronica Celestin, directly from Monarch Empire, uh, Montreal. It's actually probably one of the first time I'm doing a video in English. I decided to post in English as well, too, because we have a tremendous community that's been building over the last trimesters that's following uh, what we do, that's following my girls, Romy Hype, who is very dedicated and push forward uh, with the videos and the capsule and articles so I decided to invest myself in English too. Uh, I've done a few in French, but I think I'll, uh, not I think, I decide to mix all of them. Over March of the month of March coming, I have the intention to discuss about several subjects that touch and concerns women. But uh, women who are spiritual, women who are Christian, women who are entrepreneur. Okay, and this you're going probably to relate with these some of these subjects. Uh, but right now, um, I I want to discuss about deception. Deception is an emotion, it's a feeling that every human being on earth uh, going through a uh, few times in their life. Professional, personal, social, friendship, love affair, etc, etc. Why I want to discuss about this is because when you decide to step, involve yourself in network marketing, in MLM, multiple level marketing, businesses and it doesn't matter what type of business it is you will eventually get into the rolling coaster rolling coaster is like this circle go ups and down and ups and down cause people and unfortunately it's a part of the game and also it's something that sometimes it's requested and I say sometimes because most of the time it's, it's stuff that if we could just pass on it, we probably would. But it's difficult to recognize satisfaction when you never face deception. Anyhow, I want to share with you something that happened two weeks, three weeks ago right now uh, with two supposedly professional person. The first one is a dude, is a dude that my godson worked for him prior to some time uh, that make me, uh, that truly turned me off completely and it's a matter of time that I will come backfire him professionally speaking of course because you know what the old says two mountain never meet but two human can so it's a matter of time before I drop the next big scoop for Monarch Empire and I want to share that with you folks that have been following us since since the beginning the second one that's a little more coarse because if there's something that disgusts me turn me off repel me from the roots it's someone who make me waste my time because you know what they said time is money right so I can't afford to waste time like most of us but worse I can't accept anyone make me worse waste sorry waste lost my money when it touched my pocket uh, 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 you in big trouble. I have this lady who just stepped into the game. I won't say the name of the business because these videos will be posted on, on, on YouTube, on my blog, and soon on Facebook. So the community is small around my game and they will recognize her and I, want, I don't want to make her feel shit. But I do want her to get the point and get the message with who she mess with. She asked me for an advice. My deep heart humanitarian, I accept to meet her. Poor lady, she thought that I was going to leave my office that day and come to meet her downtown. Uh -uh. If I was the one that was looking for a favor, of course I would have done it, that's a minimum. But in my state of policy, savoir vivre, mm -mm -mm. you come to my place. So she took an appointment with me for 2.30. 
Well, at the same time, I have a lady that, that I gave her an appointment. For some reason, I was sure it was around noon, but no, I told her around one. So when she show up, I sense that things will be short. Fortunately, it's my customer. She's my regular customer. She knows me, and she didn't have she didn't have official plan for that day. So she was great enough and nice to wait with me for that whatever I supposed to call that somewhat professional who was supposed to show up and didn't. She, make a story short. Three hours later, I lost two hundred forty dollars because of her. Now, if you sense my mood, I thank God because I pray Him. But if it wasn't, I would probably have a break your neck right now. But as a professional entrepreneur, been in the game, it's been a little while, a little while. I decide to ignore her politely. And that night, she dared to um, wrote me over Facebook. By the way, we took appointment on Facebook. Oh, I'm really sorry. I lost my phone. Someone just brought it to me. That's the reason I didn't call. Hello. We didn't took phone. We didn't took appointment by phone. We took appointment. You are in your office before your computer on Facebook. You don't want to tell me. So uh, she concludes, say, I'm really sorry. We're going to have to reschedule. You know, there's a note that says, never two without three. If someone disrespect you, disrespect your planning and your time, without calling, chasing, okay? At that time, if you're wrong and you're full, and that's, that's also valid for, for, for every one of you that watching, talking to me uh, uh, as well. If someone full with your time, make you waste money, and don't even have the, the balls, Sorry for the coarse languages. The dignity to take the phone, send you a text message, call you, email you, Facebook you, Twitter you, Yahoo you, wherever, Google you, to say, I'm really sorry, this is what happened, this, that, this, that. The first advice I can give you is put this to game over straight up. Don't even go further because that person going to fool you worse the second time if you let the door open. Just close it and move on. Never, never, never low yourself's professional business standard for anyone. Never, never, never put yourself in a situation that you might look vulnerable or that you might prostitute yourself for a favor. You're an entrepreneur. You're a serious businesswoman, businessman, business person, period. So you know that what you have in your end worth a million dollars. If that person's fool enough to trick you, well, one thing to do, flush the toilet and go to the next. So that's my conclusion for that small video. And like I said previously early on, over the month of March, we will discuss and share several things that we going to share with you, discuss with you, that hopefully will help you as this stuff helped me. That was very neat. Goodbye.